Down here in the Atlanta, the Constitution voters turn out uh, for close Senate and governor races, no doubt about that. Voters are flocking to the polls. High turnout uh, there. Some uh, problems in Metro Atlanta. That's probably where you would have the uh, the problems. Voters at uh, polling station set up St. James Methodist Church. They refused the paper ballot. Opted to wait until the voting machines were fixed. <coughs> this is usually a situation in urban centers uh, that the voting machines will break down. Voters being uh, charged. All kinds of tricks out here uh, today, no doubt about that, uh, in and around Atlanta, uh, Georgia. So this is a situation uh, that no doubt you will uh, hear all over the uh, the country. Uh, and let me just check the, new, the uh, Washington Post here for any events that perhaps... Uh, we should uh, bring to you. We'll be here uh, sporadically in the night and into the late night bringing out the latest news and commentary from places that we perhaps uh, don't uh, know about uh, out there uh, or I, I say not not know about but where we would normally uh, be. And this is an article here from uh, the Washington Post. And the uh, caption is why the 2014 electorate is the best possible one for the Republicans. No group is more solid Republican than white men while uh, taking long-term trends uh, to the nation is growing uh, more uh, racial diverse, in particular uh, seeing an increased percentage of the population that is Latino. As uh, we noted in September when President Obama postponed action on immigration reform, the midterm election is uh, significantly whiter and less Latino than in presidential elections. Below this uh, comparison of turnout uh, by race, uh, most voting age population, according to Census Bureau, watch the white turnout between general and midterm elections. And they uh, compare it, and you start to see uh, the size of it. Uh, and men, women, etc. Uh, most recent ABC News poll of likely voters prefer uh, Demo uh, Republican candidates by 56 to uh, 36 versus 49. To 44 uh, preference uh, for d Democrats amongst women. White voters prefer Republicans 59 to 35 versus uh, 74 to, to 21 of non-white uh, voters. And this is Philip Bump. He is uh, doing uh, the uh, fix. And this is something uh, you will be looking at in each and every state as to how these um, particular uh, voters uh, turn out and and see where uh, they are going and where it points to. Specifically, this gender uh, situation and uh, where it uh, is uh, leading in terms of, uh, of where people are. Now, in some states, we really don't have any marquee elections uh, to look to. We only have uh, in California the top of the ticket basically and some minor uh, types of uh, elections. We'll be looking tonight at uh, some of the uh, elections uh, around that are not uh, that are not as mainstreamed as uh, some others. We'll be looking at Sandra uh, Flick out in uh, the L.A. area. She's running a for state senator out there, and we have been uh, following her all along. Just looking at a headline here in the New York Times. 
and it just says election day push as uh, Mitch McConnell uh, predicts uh, victory. He's been doing that for a long time out there. And from Debbie uh, Wasserman Schultz, it's all over but the shouting. She's chair of the Democratic National Committee. She made headlines that some people wanted to remove her. Many people uh, go to vote early in the morning. Uh, here's some some uh, retired uh, old security guard in Denver. I think Democratic policies of are failing. This is Juan uh, Nera, Nerara uh, said he used to vote Democratic, but this year he voted for Senator. Uh, this year he voted uh, for Senator Udall's opponent. In Georgia, William Burick, 66, a retired lawyer, said he voted for David Perdue. You could expect that. He said Michelle Nunn, the Democratic candidate, was simply running away from her true nature as a liberal. Well, anyway, that was his opinion there. In Salem, Massachusetts, uh, went to the polls on Tuesday uh, with the uh, health care uh, law at uh, there. She voted... Uh, for Scott Brown, uh, the Republican who is trying to unseat uh, Jeannie Sheehan. Now, hmm. so we see some of these people are uh, getting out here. Cast his ballot. This is uh, McConnell in Louisville, Kentucky. I would assume he still has a home there. Other candidates also begin arriving at polling places. The last minute shaking hands. Martha Coley needs to shake a lot. Hands. I found uh, two voters at our last house uh, now heading to Worcester. So Martha is on the uh, road there. She is uh, in some polls show her behind and she needs to be on uh, the uh, the road. Out in Denver, uh, four other cities in uh, Colorado, uh, labor groups uh, plan to phone plan uh, 10 hours of uh, door knocking in efforts to round up uh, people. Voters to send, uh, this is Udall, back to Washington. Worsman Schultz is confident in their uh, turnout model. We'll see tonight how that turnout model works in the off years. It is getting better than it has been in a very uh, long time. Down in North Carolina, Kay uh, Hagan did start airing uh, on Monday uh, featuring President Obama as to get out the African-American vote that she uh, needs. So a lot of these people are uh, heading out there, and we'll take a look uh, at... Uh, Some of these uh, various, uh, we'll go to the News and Observer, that is in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And see as to where uh, they are, uh, many holding their nose as they uh, cast ballots. And the triangle voters uh, head to the... Uh, And something came across uh, here. Uh, there was a plea deal. Evidently, this is a little off the subject here right now. Uh, of Adrian Peterson, he is uh, the uh, ball player. Uh, avoided jail time and a, a plea arrangement reached uh, with the uh, prosecutor. It just came in in his uh, child abuse uh, uh, case, and uh, we'll get to it in just a minute here. Uh, the headline here is, Many uh, Hold Their Nose As They Cast Their Ballots. This is out of Charlotte. Uh, Ron uh, Buck, 44, a roofer from uh, Fairway, Kansas, who voted to re-elect uh, Sam uh, Brownback and uh, Roberts, but said uh, both seem like uh, leftovers you don't want to eat. In other words, nobody likes these uh, characters that they went out there. 
And the Danelle Glover, 28. This is a roundup over the nation. Voted in Commerce City, an industrial suburb northeast of Denver. Hoping Democrats could hold off the Republicans. So we get a little uh, thing here. Judy English, she was in... Uh, in Colorado also uh, thought that Senator Paul uh, might be a viable candidate. I guess this is going on to an election that has not even been held yet. And this is a roundup of various uh, across the uh, country. And let me just quickly get this one. This is in the triangle. This is in uh, their uh, lines uh, received a ballot at what? 715 uh, was uh, 10 deep with 5 or 10 minutes to wait at that. This is Shepherd United Church of Christ in uh, Cary, North Carolina. And various other places here in Parkwood uh, Fire Station. Uh, that's in South Durham. More than uh, 780 residents there down in, uh, in North Carolina. Central Baptist, 600 there. With uh, photo IDs required uh, set to take effect in 2016, volunteers and nonprofit uh, democracy uh, were stationed outside asking voters to take a short survey. So, in other words, they want to get ready for the uh, presidential year there in North Carolina. Let me go to this uh, Adrian uh, Peterson story uh, very uh, quickly here. I'll go out to the Midwest. He pled evidently no contest to uh, a misdemeanor charge of reckless assault misdemeanor in exchange for his plea, which is uh, not an admission of guilt. He agreed to uh, to probation, a $4,000 fine, and 80 hours of community service. He arrived there with his wife when he pled no contest. They've been talking about this, who faced uh, a felony uh, child abuse charge in Montgomery County, that's in Texas, with his wife and mother and attorneys in what began the uh, pre-trial, excuse me, bond uh, revocation hearing uh, there. Prosecutors wanted to revoke his bond in the plea exchange, which is not admission of guilt. He'll be placed on probation for two years, fine um, $4,000 plus court costs, walking around money for him. And half of his public, uh, half of his community service will be public service announcements uh, there. He entered the plea less than, uh, in less than 10 minutes. Dressed in a dark suit, uh, according to them. He's 29-year-old running back, uh, an East Texas native, was accused of uh, giving his uh, four-year-old a spanking with what is called a uh, switch. And it resulted in red marks and wounds on his five butt licks. And uh, he also hit him in the testicles. So he's on the commissioner's list. Uh, some would say the S list. And whether or not he will return uh, this uh, year uh, is speculation that's in the air. The big question here is, and this is out of Minnesota in the Minneapolis paper, whether uh, Peterson uh, might return to the field Talking with reporters at Winter Park, the general manager uh, had little to say about Peterson. They won't say. And the coach had nothing to say. So thus, uh, no one was talking. And that is sometimes uh, the way things go. Again, Adrian Peterson uh, pleads to a misdemeanor. I'm kind of an unusual uh, why he would uh, have a uh, situation in that he does. But again, that can happen. Let's take a quick look uh, in Milwaukee. And see how the people are doing in Wisconsin. That is, um, this is the Milwaukee Sentinel Journal. Walker Burke, uh, voters say who and why uh, there. Uh, Walker is, of course, the governor there, and Mary Burke is running.